All right, guys. So as you can see, Mr. Paul Cantu is here. He is live in the flesh, live and direct. A lot of you guys noticed that on his Snapchat, he already arrived in Washington. And on my last vlog, which was posted around the same time that he arrived in Washington, he was leaving Washington. So. To avoid confusion, I want to start releasing these as soon as possible. However, the only thing that really kind of makes me slow up is that I don't know if everyone's seen it yet, and I want everyone to see it because I do put a lot of work into the vlogs. But if you guys want me to post these vlogs literally day by day, just make sure you hit that thumbs up. Once it gets 400 likes, the very next day I'll post the next vlog. So that's really all you have to do. Hit that thumbs up, and then I'll post the next vlog. It's really fucking simple. Well, that's fucking annoying. All right, guys, so I had plans to go down to Oregon today, and I was going to stay in Portland. However, some fuck shit happened, and I'm no longer going there today. I will be going there tomorrow, but basically this is going to be a weekend of adventuring because I got the weekend off. I'm with my niece over there. Yeah, but uh, I'm taking her to the ape caves that I took Paul to, so we're going to go check out the caves. I want her to start exploring the beautiful outdoors, but right now we're going to try to climb up this little uh, mound to get a good view of Mount St. Helens. What a great view. Now, on to the caves. All right guys, my camera's having a hard time focusing. It's pitch black in here, so I actually had to pull out the A7S. As you guys know, lately I've been recording on the A7R2. We're in the ape caves right now with my niece. Um, we made it down here. Been walking probably for, uh, I don't know, probably like 15, 20 minutes through this cave. It's pretty dope. I don't know if we're gonna make it all the way through the cave just because of the fact that I only have this one little light and if this thing dies, we're totally fucked. As I always tell you guys, I want you guys to get out and explore around you. And honestly, that's probably gonna be the theme of this vlog because I will be doing a lot of exploring in this vlog series. Stay tuned! Look guys, we explored through the ape caves and found some ancient hot Cheetos. Paul would love it here. All right guys, we are out of the caves. Uh, we made it out safely and I uh, fell once sadly and actually damaged my light which I don't really feel like showing you right now because it's my bag and on top of that I scratched the A7S. If you guys understand cameras you guys know that's a lot of money to be scratching but whatever you know it gives it some little uh, uh, war damage memories to be made. It just it's kind of sad that we have to make memories on a three thousand dollar camera and that's actually my cheaper camera the camera i have in hand right now with the lens is actually five thousand dollars so uh yeah it's pretty dangerous to be doing these adventures with eight thousand dollars worth of just cameras and lenses anyways guys i will see you later because i'm headed back home and i'm tired as fuck good morning guys i'm tired as fuck right now and i didn't really vlog after i got back from the ape caves or after the ape caves too much but I drove down to Portland. I stayed with my dear friend Karin Codine right here. You know, here we go. I don't know if this is for real or not. Don't zoom in. I didn't zoom in. I can't zoom in on this lens. Anyways, uh, she's going to work. If you guys need anything from Target, definitely go to Target. Um, you know, uh, ask for her, Karin Codine. Anyways, guys, I'm going on an adventure. And I'm going to hit a couple spots, Panther Creek Falls, Cape Kiwanda, and possibly a couple other places. I almost forgot to vlog for you guys, and I've already shown this off in a vlog, but for any new viewers, you need to come check this place out. This is Panther Creek Falls. Damn, look at that shit, man. That is so fucking gorgeous. It's a little sunny right now, but damn, this thing is probably about like three stories tall. It looks like I literally just teleported to Jurassic Park. I'm waiting for a pterodactyl to fly down this fucking river. But yeah, man, this place is beautiful and this is only the first adventure of today. All right, guys, I am currently speeding to Carson City so I can try to call 911. I do not get service out here, but basically as I was leaving, I ended up talking to these individuals in the parking lot. I was talking to this dude about photography. We were talking about their dogs, all that kind of shit. But basically what happened is as we were talking, this dude ran up and he was like, help, someone needs help. Someone fell. Someone's yelling for help. Like, we need someone to call 911. Does anyone have service? And of course, no one does because it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. So me and this dude ran down there to see what was going on. So hopefully we could assess the situation and help if we could. However, once we got down there, this girl was bleeding from her ears, there was blood going all the way down the side of her face, down her neck, everything. It was pretty fucking crazy, so I ran up as quickly as I could. Now I'm trying to get to the city as fast as possible so that way I can call 911. But be careful and always try to bring a buddy when you do go hiking. Obviously, I encourage you guys to go out and explore. I've been hurt. I haven't had any major injuries like that. Don't let that stuff deter you. However, just make sure that when you do go out, you are really careful. I had a situation where I was going down to Panther Creek Falls. It's one of my favorite areas to go. It was raining. I was by myself. I was climbing back up. And as I was climbing up, I slipped because obviously the rocks were really slippery. I fell back and just barely missed 
like a spiky part of the log. The log grazed the side of my head and I was so fucking lucky that my head was not just a little bit more to the left because that would hit me directly in the back of the neck. Anyways, hopefully I get service soon. I really hope that girl's okay. All right, as you guys can see, I'm currently following this deputy right now. I didn't really know if they would ask me to go back up there or not, even though I had plans today. I gotta, you know, cut that short because I gotta do whatever I can do to help this woman. Hopefully she's okay. Alright guys, well I'm pretty sure she is passed, uh, she had no pulse, and I waited around as long as I could just to see if they need anything, obviously I have some military training when it comes to that, um, but they ended up blocking down the area, we ended up going to wait in the parking lot for a little bit, um, I'm on to my next adventure, I was going to do three stops today, however I'm only going to do two because that did take some time out of the day, and um, for me to drive back into town to get service, call 911, wait for the deputy, then drive back up. I mean, it took like two or three hours. I encourage you guys to go explore, but make sure you take all the necessary precautions. Whenever I go, my mom always tells me, you know, Jacob, please be careful. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, 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 whatever. You know, I do this shit all the time. It's no big deal. Um, but that's why she does that is because she knows that accidents happen and things happen and, you know, people do lose their life. Yeah, just be careful. I do not want any of you guys to get hurt. But anyways, um, the next adventure is Cape Kowanda, so I'm gonna head that way right now. And I will be there in about three or four hours. Guys, I forgot to vlog most of this, but this is Cape Kowanda, that big black thing. Anyways, it it's, sick, <laughs> <laughs> it's getting dark. I met these two gentlemen, but yeah, we're mobbing back in the uh, darkness. You know, just got this lighthouse on my wrist. Damn, that is freaking beautiful though. I'm gonna post some of the pictures right now. And of course, go follow me on Instagram to uh, see those lovely photos in high definition on your 4.7 inch uh, iPhone. Yeah, two inches. I like that you said it's two inches when it's still bigger than the original iPhones. It's like fucking two inches. That thing's fucking tiny. Even though the five was like three and a half inches, and this is like four. Yeah, the guy was like, "Well, if you got, if you want, you can just wait till Saturday, and then the uh, SC comes out, and it's four hundred dollars." <laughs> Do I look fucking poor to you, dude? I need point seven inches of screen right fucking now. All right, don't fucking play me. Play it's only dick. four inches of screen. How do you expect me to enjoy my own Instagram pictures? Exactly, dude. That's all I do all day, anyway. <laughs> Just stare at my own Instagram. This is sweet. This is a good photo. Let me PayPal myself ten dollars. <laughs> Damn, look at the curves on that motherfucker. She is pouring up a glass or a bottle of agua. I'm tired as fuck because I've been exploring and I just drove all the way here. I'm crashing here tonight, but I got here and she wants to go to, um, I don't know, some witch's castle thing. So I'm gonna go do that and uh, probably get beat up by a ghost and then come back and, and go to sleep. So, uh, yeah. All right, guys, we have arrived after hiking down this dark, creepy path. Um, you know, it looks like it would be a cool place to come take pictures during the daytime. I'm really glad that people uh, ruin uh, architecture by drawing uh, dick worms and ghosts on the walls. Ooh, at least they add inspirational messages. Um, you can be brave. What? There's a pentacle inside. What? A pentacle! What'd you say? A pentacle inside. I heard you the first time, and the second time, and the third time. Damn, this place would be dope in the daytime. Come take some pictures. Look at the little window, though. Damn. That's where I'd be serving bricks out. If you need it, I got it. 18.5 every time I swing my dough. And it's 18.5 every time I swing my dough. Or stick my arm out the castle window. This right here is a piece of history, guys. Do not think of this as damaged. 
with graffiti or anything like that. This is a piece of history. And trust me, I know about real estate. I'm a professional real estate agent. Yeah, it might look like it's hard to get down this staircase. And that might look like a, a garbage milk jug. But this is actually an art installation. Um, this is just a representation of life and how hard it can be. Uh, when climbing the stairway to success, but you got to keep moving and it's in a great creepy location Let's turn that brightness up though. Woohoo! Look at that light. Look at that light Damn, that thing is so bright. Karine wanna... You look so mysterious you. like an Arabian woman <laughs> And when you go under here as you can see you have a, a room for the children, uh, you might want to add some barred doors right here so that way uh, they can't escape while playing with broken glass slash uh, mirrors, not broken glass. I guess there is some glass too, but yeah, broken glass and broken mirrors. I think there's poop. It's great that they have this uh, bag of shit so that way when you lock the kids in here, they have a place to use the bathroom. This is definitely a nice piece of real estate. Like I said, guys. Do not sleep on this. Hey, look it, and as you can see, you can tell this is a star life property because uh, this is clearly living the star life. Mission for the land of milk and honey, sort of funny how to see change. But new roads bring new scars. We duck it, dodge it out of hoopla. Push it to the limit, going too far. That's what it takes to live the star life with two R's. Now they telling me that life is alone.